is this person really for me? You need to see, and then when it, when that L word gets to coming out, you get to maybe you've been friends with somebody for a year, and they get to telling you they love you, or you start dating somebody, and y'all been dating for a while, and they get to telling you they love you. Pay attention to what their love means. What's happening, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It's Nefertiti, and I'm back with another video. Um, happy New Year's to y'all. I know it looks like um, the way I'm where I'm the way I'm sitting looks a little weird. But I just had to put my phone up, and I have a message for you guys today, right? Okay. So, you know, there's a difference between unconditional love and conditional love. Now, true love, true love in the world does not have conditions. But, you know, the world's way of loving, there's conditions. Now, let's break this down. When a person has unconditional love for you, it means they love you through the thick and the thin. It means they love you as an individual. It means they love you even when they're mad. It means they love you even when you hurt them. Now, when I say they love you, it doesn't mean that they are supposed to take all the trash that you throw at them. It doesn't mean that they don't have boundary. it does, boundaries. It doesn't mean they don't have standards. It doesn't mean that they don't have a backbone and don't stand up for themselves. It just means that they'll love you through the storms, through the rain. Even if you turned your back on them, they still love you. That is unconditional love. Unconditional love is, it, is whenever you love a person despite of what they did or what they didn't do. Conditional love comes with conditions, y'all, right? So you'll hear, people, you'll hear people, people say they love you. Some people will love you as, as long as you do for them. Some people will love you as long as you are nice to them. Some people will love you as long as you keep on getting a mail for them in the morning and, and picking up their kids and taking them to the school. Some people will love you as long as you're continuing to do something that they like, that makes them feel good. Right? I don't know why I would say right. Some people will love you um, as long as you continue to do what makes them feel good and or what makes them happy. That's a love that comes with conditions. And we need to know the difference when we are in these friendships and in these relationships to know when a person loves you unconditionally and when they don't. And like I said before, when people love you unconditionally, it doesn't mean that you have to take everything that they throw at you. It just means that you going to love them despite of what they did, said, what, what, what went on, what they didn't do for you. Like your, your, your love is genuinely loving them. That's how God love. God, God has unconditional love for, for his people. And it doesn't mean he don't correct us. It doesn't mean that we don't see his wrath sometimes. It doesn't mean that, um, you know, he doesn't have a boundary, but God loves us so much that like more than we can ever know. So, so God loves us so much that no matter what we do in this world, if we just turn around and ask him for forgiveness and change our ways, he has open arms. Like he's willing to be there for you if you repent and turn your life around. Like despite of what you did, that is unconditional love. Cause some people will be like, um, no matter what you try to do to come back, no matter what you say, I'm not taking you back because some people get so upset and so hurt from betrayal that they don't want to take people back. So God then been betrayed, backstabbed by us, or we, we didn't turn our backs on him. We didn't, you know, bring God through the mud pretty much. You know what I'm saying? There are a lot of things that really broke God's heart. I know that there's a lot of things that we do in this world and say in this, in this world that breaks God's heart. I know it does. And, um, but the thing is he loves us despite of that. It doesn't mean to take advantage of his love. It doesn't mean, oh, well, God's going to love me. So I'm going to keep on going over here and shoot at this house. Oh, I know God's going to keep on loving me. So that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and beat this person up. Like, no, you still have to have, um, bound. Like, you still have to have respect and revere and fear. Like, don't be out here just doing whatever you think you doing whatever you want to do, because you believe God's going to just go ahead and, and, and be open arms. I'm saying that God has a love that he will be willing to be open arms if you if you have already made mistakes, if you made a mistake, if you made bad decisions and you want to turn your life around, he's there for you. But it doesn't mean that you keep on acting out because you know he's going to be there for you. So don't take it. Don't take it for granted. 
But I just want y'all to pay attention. So when you're getting into friendships this year, when you're getting into relationships this year, and as time goes by and you're seeing, is this person really my friend? Is this person really for me? You need to see, and then when when that L word gets to coming out, you got to maybe you've been friends with somebody for a year, and they get to telling you they love you, or you start dating somebody, and y'all been dating for a while, and they get to telling you they love you. Pay attention to what their love means, because the the true love that God has is an agape love, which is unconditional. But in the world, everyone doesn't know how to love the way God loves. They just know how to love the way that they know how to love. And some folks' love come with conditions, so pay attention. Are you in a circle of people who love you with conditions? Or they love you because you can do stuff for them. They love you because um, you're pretty. They love you because you're smart. They love you because of something that you have, some type of benefit that you can bring to the table for them or for other people. Or do they love you because they genuinely love you for who you are? They genuinely love your being. They genuinely love your aura. They they genuinely love you that to the point where like you, if you push them away, they still love you. If y'all don't talk no more, they still love you. If, 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 um, things go bad, you know what I'm saying? And, and maybe y'all don't end up being cool no more. They still love you. And not just, Oh, I still, still have love for you. They genuinely still love you. Like still love you. Still will be there for you. If you willing to change your ways, doesn't mean that they have to hang out with you. Doesn't mean that they have to, be your best friend if they betrayed you, but they'll still love you, still pray for you, still hope the best for you. So in this season, pay attention when the person tells you they love you. What what kind of love is it? Is it conditional, unconditional? Be careful when you find out if, if it's conditional. Because if it's conditional... Um, a person will be easier to, will be quicker to kick you to the curb when you don't bring to the table what they desire for you to bring to the table. Now, when a person loves you unconditionally, they can also kick you to the curb, but that's only if you're crossing boundaries that they, they're not willing to accept. Okay. If it's a boundary that they, they had already put in place before and you crossed it and you keep crossing it, then they might cut you off, but they'll still love you even if they cut you off. There are some people that will literally cut you off if you don't bring to the table what they need you to bring to the table and you're no longer any goods to them because you're not giving them what they need or want. Pay attention to that. All right? So I hope this helped y'all. I just wanted to put this message out there because, you know, we in a new year and we need to be paying attention to certain things and to people and to ourselves and being very on point. So in this year, in this season of your life, pay attention to everything. Pay attention to your surroundings. Pay attention to signs. When you get more than one sign, that's similar. That's like the same sign. Pay attention to little, like, you know, like I said, little things. Um, what people say. How people act. The atmospheres that you're in. Pay attention to everything. And live a life of intention. Have intention in your life. Don't just live to just live and do whatever just to do whatever and have no intention, have no plan. Write down your plan that you have for your life. Write down what you want to do in your life and be intentional about your life and be around people who are intentional about their lives. If y'all haven't already, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Be sure to join the team. Also, I have a reaction channel, which is in the description below. Check that out. See if y'all like that. Okay. It's a new year. So we coming with, with some, some new things this year. All right, so I love y'all. Stay tuned for the next video. God bless you. Bye-bye.